Alrighty, this is an alpha that they released as a demo for the Steam Next Fest here now. Legacy Steel and Sorcery. I've looked forward to this playtest for quite some time. And we're gonna see what they have to offer. It's an online game. Let me read the like, text on their store page. Explore the dangerous beauty of Legacy and Steel and Sorcery as you race as you race to find lost treasures while battling players and monsters in merciless action combat. But make sure to find your way back to safety before it's too late or risk losing it all. So, I'm not 100% sure what it's all about, but we'll see what they have to offer in this demo. I don't know if I'm gonna play with keyboard and mouse or controller. I'm gonna try controller first, but if it's um, good controls, I'll probably switch over to mouse and keyboard. Oh, it's a bit loud. Let's see. Camera aim tracking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Windowed full screen. I would like to go full screen. Just to use everything. Oh, wow. Motion blur is off. Big win. Sharpness. I usually increase this by 0 0.3 in games that have sharpness. Upscaling. I don't need any upscaling. Can I? I guess I can't. What? I'm using DLS though, so performance. If I just go off, it should set it to off. We'll see if this actually works. The frame might, might be messed up. I would like to turn this off if I could. It has auto set. Whoa, everything's off near that. That doesn't seem right. Does it lag? No. Quality presets. Epic. Let's try Epic. My computer is pretty beefy. Post profit. Yeah, that's fine. They have motion blur off by default, so that's cool. Vertical sync off. And 120 in the menu. I don't need that much frame rate limit in background. Yes. Frame rate limit, wait what? Why is everything on battery? Oh wow. Okay, so are they gonna play it on is that laptop settings? That might be laptop settings. Okay, we got hundred everything. There's a voice chat in the game. Is that off by default, I wonder? 3D headphones. Maybe high dynamic range I should be able to handle that mm -hmm. targeting interact emotes swap weapons Ooh. weapon alternative weapon skill map inventory push to talk okay so it doesn't have um, open mic it seems like that's good. Jump sprint, evade, left control is a bullshit button, walk, run, toggle. Oh, I'll just switch these. Are you sure you want to rewind? Yes. And then just go. That for now, and we'll also do mouse side here. Hmm. Might put like the alternative or weapon skill on the mouse as well. For now, just leave. Out run toggle. That I'll reset that. Class tools. Quick slots. Oh boy. I don't think I can play this on gamepad. I'm gonna have to look at it. Use tool. Next tool. Okay, quick slots. Oh god, I might actually have to like play it on mouse and keyboard straight up. Okay, so vibration. Let's turn that off. So it's kinder on my hands. And we have different axes here. Look sensitivity for normal. Dead Oh nice, they can adjust the dead zones here. Very good. Okay, we've checked out the settings. Let's see what it does when we log in. I'm gonna try controller first. 
but I'm a bit skeptical that I could act. Did I even look? No, it didn't show me the controls. Oh god. Just gonna lower the Windows volume. Okay, I can't do that while I'm in full screen. Tab out, does it work? No, okay. So if you put it to full screen instead of windowed borderless, it seems to like take over the entire screen. Or maybe it's just what it's compi compiling shaders. Hal's name is your account name. Also appears as the surname of your characters while in games can be changed. Krok ma kor. Okay. Sounds good. You can have four characters. Okay. Can I now? Yeah, I can fix my volume. So this won't affect my recordings, but it will help my Windows volume a bit. Great character. What do I get? Warrior, Hunter, Priest, Rogue. Yeah. Oh my god. Controller doesn't work in the menus? I guess they haven't supported it yet. A Hunter, a Priest, and a Rogue. I mean, Rogue looks badass, Hunter looks fun, all of them looks fun. And I have four character slots, so I'm gonna do one of each. I'll start out with Warrior. And this is gonna be... Fra... Fraka... Zoid. <laughs> Fraka side, why not? <laughs> this is not very Lord... Lord good. I'll just keep... I'll keep making them, right? This will be... L... This the Anna. Good enough. Priest. What's a priest name? Don't no no don't touch me there. That's my no no square. Uh Ulyssia. Good enough. And a rogue. A rogue will be Hi, Ro. Fen. No. That that sounds like something I don't know. What? San. Sandal. Sandalar. No. <sighs> My brain. Mm, a rogue. A rogue. It's a good rogue. A nickname maybe for a rogue instead of like an actual name. So that that makes it harder. God damn, my, my brain is passing. Um, no, Clay is dual wielding. He's got claws. <laughs> He's calling Hood. That's fine, right? Hood. Okay, we'll go with Freakazoid. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Invite friends to the playtest. That's cool. You can autofill the team. You have solos and team maps. This is the map. Cool. You get to like plan out stuff. This will be good if you're like already now pre-made. Um, yeah, to just talk about what to do. Seems to be bosses in two of the corners here. Lair of Mogthog, Morthog, Stonefield Chapel. I don't know what the icons are about. There's quests, cities, quests. Let's see. Oh, you can accept quests. Okay. Fights are almost as good as shiny. Shiny treasure, but will win. You kill adventures here. Shinies go kill. Defeat players, defeat goblins, collect bone dust, gather, grow grubs, specimens, ring of stamina, oh wow, weapon crystal, used to enchant, wait, enhance the rarity of weapons, big, no idea, and here you get straight up gold, city, 
alchemist. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. So I start with a hundred gold. And I start with bandages and potions. Okay. Poison large paralyzed toy requires a rogue. Very cool. Armor potion. <coughs> Sorry. Grab oil. Common potion. Doesn't say what it does. Jumping potion. Consume increase jump height. Doubles your stamina region. Okay. Let's go. Then there is, there's an armor. Hunter. Okay, you have specific gear. They give max health. Physical armor, elemental armor. Death dealing. You, you deal increases more damage against wounded targets. Oh, they even have attributes. Uh, traits, I would say. You divine mirror rotates, keep the priest protected. Increase stealth duration from. Wow. And these aren't very expensive, so you can get them already from start. Warrior. Lenters and Drift being attacked generates a small amount of stamina. Being attacked while blocking generates a large amount of stamina. Okay, so I wonder if you're supposed to buy stuff at the start. Yeah, these don't have any traits. I could easily buy stuff. Bad boys keeping so much aren't lost when you die. Okay, so you have two things you can put straight in here and it seems like I will loot and try to fill up this space and if I extract I get to keep all of it but if I really really want to bring something with me for sure when I die I put it in my soul pack I see I'm actually gonna play this on mouse and keyboard since uh, it seems they're not finished with the controller yet Maybe I'll try it like uh, on one of the runs and see what happens. So these are the tools. We have a tool belt for 2x2. Do quick access. So you can have spears, iron fist, war horn, and a sickle. Slice enemy deal increase them. Okay. So much PvP stuff. Start with that much HP. We start with Quake, Slam the Ground, and Whirlwind. Can be shunned to increase duration. Oh, wait, these are the weapon skills for Axe. Oh, okay, so I get a Quake from the Mallet, and I get that from that, okay. And this is a class skill 1, pulley for 12, you're dealing with physical damage, stunning them. Class skill 2, rampage, become unstoppable, attack on control when you're dealing with physical damage. And charge. Very cool. Then you have mastery. You can carry a second main hand weapon. That sounds warrior. Okay. So actually buying like beginner gear is viable. Enchantress, what does she do? They refresh as well, the vendors. Create a ton of wind, slows your enemies and speed up allies. Very cool. Make a priest prayer card. Oh, shadow armor. Hunter, use my fire into the ground. This arrow explodes after short duration. You can get special arrows for the hunter. Cool. Taylor, the art isn't done yet, but the sketch looks amazing. The art so far is very cool. Okay, here I can do leathers. Better stuff. Bandage heals a tiny amount. Doesn't say it does anything, so it's for crafting, I suppose. This is a priest hood. Holy star, your gleaming star now costs spirit, but the explosion heals nearby allies. My god, the game is already so deep. I can see how deep it is just from looking at it. Cooking effects, max health. So I guess you can cook out on the field to get like temporary buffs. Cook servings one. 
Wait, craft. Holy armor. Curse resist. Wow. Look at the treasure, glintering dust, crafting methods, lost backpack, reveal the backpack contained inside. So this gambling, so you use these shards, don't know exactly what the resource is called yet, but you can buy mystery weapons and stuff. Okay, so they have a gambler, very cool, weaponsmith, heavy spear, warhorn. Use hurl the spear, dealing damage to generating rage when striking an enemy. Enemy struck by the spear can get pinned to nearby walls. So here are the tools. So you can get basic tools for your class. Let's grab an enemy, deliver a shattering blow. Wow. Stack one out of five. So these are consumables, it looks like. And here you can buy the weapon for the longbow as well. Shatter point during eagle stance, you fully charge on deal porch. So you have stances, I see. Holy damage, Max Star Cold hitting and multiple enemies with your charge attack creates a holy spark nearby. Blades for rogues. Assassin blade is sharp and then blade is also great to increase sword charge attack. Anger mismanage. Killing a powerful enemy permanently increases your maximum rage. Wow. Wow, okay. Bow dance, weapon skin. Greater heal. Oh my god. This game looks amazing. Okay, so they have sheep shot. Oh, ultra light. Blade rush. Okay, so there's some variation there. We have crafting. So you don't need to buy them. You can craft them if you have the resources. What would be if I try? Can I Engrim's axe? Deadly grip, your first charge attack after gripping an enemy with chain pull is much faster. So if you get copper bars and birch heartwood from copper ores and birch wood. Very cool. And then you have upgrades of course. Crafting bench. Here you can craft basic stuff. Yes, this is amazing. Prayer card removes all magic even from an ally, and this costs. And you have three restore. It looks like it would be costly to play a good healer if it like the match draws out. You need to replenish the cards, or hmm. if the spells are consumables, that's gonna. It's gonna be a little hard, but I guess these are consumable warrior tools. These are consumable priest tools, poison darts, and smoke bombs. On the rogues, consumables, even lock pick. Wow, lock chest. I like it. Kid. I like it. And same with the arrows. Okay. Okay. So you actually have to go out, craft your stuff, and get to work. Okay. Can I just accept new quest adventure? I'm. I really don't want to play. <laughs> I don't want to play a warrior my first time, but I. I guess I do. Uh, I guess I do. The most attractive right now is the rogue and the hunter. I normally don't play warriors, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, first match. Can I accept all the quests, I wonder? Fit goblins. Three, okay. And out of fill. And let's, let's lodge, wait. In progress. Keep your fireplace burning to enable the other furnishing lodge function. You have a cooking pot, a bed, storage chest. Okay, and you can upgrade your stash, and then you have more stuff. Oh my god, I'm. This looks so good. Let's see if we get matched, mate. I don't know how many players are playing this right now.
Oh, that was pretty fast. Okay, so I'm a warrior. What am I matched with? I think I'm a beginner warrior straight up. God breaking was constantly stunned. Okay, you gotta compile the shaders. I hope it's just the first time I'm playing the map it compiles and not like every time I load the map. Because that will get old very fast. But it's an alpha game right now, so we'll give this game a lot of leeway. It's not like a beta or anything really. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put it to epic quality, but I did want to see how it looked. Okay, sensitivity is a bit low for me. I'm guessing I didn't get matchmake. Build version. Okay, maybe I put on a balanced DSML. See what happens. I mean, it looks fine either way. I want more sensitivity. Let's just double it. Okay, I guess I just. Get to play. How do I change my weapon? Oh, that's my ability. Okay, that's how I change that. I have stamina. Ooh. That's a dodge. Okay, I'm having some frame rate issues here. Of course, it's an alpha, so it's not going to be optimized. Hmm. Go for performance. We still have everything on epic. Goblin! Oh, you can charge your melee. Okay. I can guard. Oh. Oh god, so you have to... Wait, how do I swiftly double click? Okay, and how do I close it? That's gonna be a bit annoying if it's gonna cover the entire screen, but I suppose that's how those are meant to be in games like this. Where am I even going? Oh god. What are you? Oh god, what was that? How do I mean? Oh wow, if I use the two he just keeps wailing. Them. Cool, cool, cool. I just double pick everything. Fire powder. Oop. Wolf mask. Chalices. Take. What did I take? Hmm. You can close the door behind you. How do I switch weapon? Swap weapon. Draw sheet. Is there a difference for it? If I sheet it, do I run faster? I do not use my stamina if I sheet. Okay. Very cool. Doesn't have, does it not have a toggle for it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Toggle sprint, sprint, outer run toggle, walk run toggle. Mm. With that. Oh, 
How do I? <laughs> okay, it's a bit of a mix between those two. How easy is it to climb stuff? Very good. There's another bomb there. I didn't take the to defeat Goblin's quest. Oh. Stash back here. Oh. Oh god. I am taking a lot of damage. No! No! Okay, so if you're in a party, you wouldn't be able to get up here. Okay, melee has never been for me, but god damn. You gained zero levels, defeated five monster. Really so. I don't even know if I was matched with anyone. I should probably go into solos then. I should have put something in here. Let's see. Quests. Defeat goblins. Oh, I did take it. Gather king's mint is the only one I didn't take. Question is, are they shared between accounts? Kind of curious here. What does this guy have? Worn swords. That's it. Skills. Blade rush. Claw attack. Master Phantom. Day. Very good. I like those skills. Let's see. What does she got? Heaving spark. Healing multiple injured. Divine mirror. Call for her absorb. I did see one that could make the mirror go around the priest so you can move or like protect from all the edges. Wow. All damage. Detonate early. Heaven's Fury. Targeted, unblockable, hold them stun. Wow, okay. If I play with a party, I might just play a priest straight up. Let's see. Quest. They are account wide. That's good. Mm -mm -mm. Got a bow, basic stuff. Let's see, bow dance, perform evasive maneuver, encounter a counter type with a shard shot. Seed bomb, throw a special seed and detonates short duration physical damage and knocking targets away. Bear trap. Sentinel strike some intangible sentinel to sword great distance, you need damage to all enemies in this path. Cool, so you're basically a sentinel. And the tools are different types of arrows. You get a quiver. Okay, rings, rings, rings. I am gonna buy some gear for her, I believe. Using this gauge. <laughs> okay, no, can't do that. Is there a also bubble somewhere? Tavern main treasure me glimmer dust weaponsmith longbow. Ah, I just have to try it out. So the bow gives me bow dance, doesn't do anything else. And skins. Oh, that's the wrong one. Mastery. Your shots and abilities generate swiftness. Swiftness reduces the short time of your shots and cast time of your sentinel. That's cool. Right, I didn't look at the masteries. One sec. And enter mastery. You gain 100 spirit, which is used to heal yourself or your allies. To regenerate spirit in combat or during adventure, use your spirit flask or pay off an altar. Ew, so it's limited. Okay. Oh, wrong. And then we have the rogue. 
Mastery. After being out of combat for 5 seconds or when entering stealth, Rogue generates adrenaline. Adrenaline can be spent. Mm, some abilities increase their effectiveness. That's a little confusing to me personally. But let's try solos. How does this work? Create party. Okay, okay. So you gotta search. But. No! Is solos not working? Damn! Okay, would be nice if they had solos, I guess, if they don't have like a big enough play race. Oh. Paid extract requires 100 copper? Oh, so I gotta get 100 copper to actually extract myself early. And it looks like I'm in a map that is actually continuing. It starts at 16 sec uh, 16 minutes in or left. Are these something I guess? Grab? No. Oh, noise? No. I might have to lower the graphics, but we'll see. So, these aren't lootables. How do I get in? Need a duel. Oh, this. Was it actually making sound? It's a big pumpkin feel. Maybe somebody has already been here. This should be the same map actually died on my warrior. Can I... Would there be a hidden stuff? I guess I could set up an ambush and stuff like this. What are those? This should be inventory. Field lily. Hmm. Not lootables. Okay. Where am I? I am. Oh! I have no idea. Where? Oh, I'm over here. There's coin and something else. So the big chapel is on the four. Okay, she actually does a roll. Oh god. Actually being like... Being melee might have been better. Oh. I'm gonna die. Drink a potion. He teleported back because of aggro. Damn! If you hold it, you can use it. And there's quick slots for it as well. Wait, I'm still dying. Am I? Oh, I'm poisoned. Why isn't this working though? Okay, the poison is way too strong if I can't recover from it no matter what. Oh boy. Wait, what? Aren't it supposed to like heal over time? Reduces wounds effect and heals for a tiny amount. Oh, if I have a wound, I see. fighting it's a hunter yeah oh my god it's 50 damage oh boy 
Can I actually, like, help someone? Execute. Oh boy. I kind of wanted to help him, but... You leave me no choice. Boom. Thanks for the loot. <laughs> Wait, can I... What, what can I even do here? Let's take small stuff. I can take the bow. Wow, you can take everything. Can I even, like... Loot it? Or, like, sell it? Ten gold. Ten gold, ten gold. Guess I could do that. Okay, the warrior was easier just because it deals more damage or has more HP. He's glowing for some reason. Um, if I do that and just doing a big thing. Yeah. Where you go? Hello? And this channel is crazy long. Oh god. Those explode. Okay, he's dead. Wait, I... Did I loot the other guy? Those are goblin ears. Oh. Oh. No. Yes. What are you? Radiant legs for priests. I don't have enough room for that. Just gonna put gold in that bag. And keep going. Like, I broke some stuff before. I don't know if you actually get resources from it. Go ahead with my HP. I don't have anything I can actually do. Can you craft? I wonder. Wait, pick up frog? Oh god! Okay. I would think I would, could get like meat or something. Pick up. Oh, copper. Linen. Crafting potions. Sounds good. Grub. Oh, I need copper for sure. I don't know if there's a weight limit. Too. Definitely, it's like an inventory management, so I need like bigger. What's it called? Bigger backpacks. Yeah. What are these? Oh, dead players. Freshly cut robes here. Paper. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Bag of tricks. Priest gear. That's 20 gold. Oh! Oh! What? Oh! Oh god! Oh, I can insta-cast it after I get some stuff going. Get the gold, get the ears. Oh, okay, this is a hunter here. I don't really need that then. Mm-hmm. 
Plus 20. Can I make some room? Paper. Oh, I can't craft anything here. Okay, yep. And I got mushrooms. Got more stuff. Okay, I did kill something over here. Bone pile. Wooden arrow. Huh. These are worth 10 gold each. Splintered bone. Crafting rope darts. Crafting magic arrows. Oh, I do want that. Let's make some room. Maxed out. Now, the icon up top shows me there is a exit. I think I need to exit before the timer ends. Okay, so I can harvest wood as well. Okay. What would I get? Birch wood. I actually do need that. Ah, oh, come on, goblin ears. 20, 20 gold pieces. Let's concern ourselves with materials for now. Wait, plus. Oh, it's cooking effects. Sure. Wait, I do have another slot, right? So. Oh, I can't really put anything in there. Let's just keep the gold. Can I pick up shrooms? Okay. It said none, but we can get leather here. Oh, I do wish I could get it. I wonder how... Oh! Is it copper? I wonder how long it takes to upgrade the backpack. And... Oh, rough stone. Well, I can't really do anything about that. Like, when I die, like just like the other players, do I drop my backpack as well, like permanently, or is it like a basic stuff? Depending on how hardcore it is, like, you actually lose your upgrades from your new weapons you bought, then I would want that changed. Like, if I upgrade in town, it should be a permanent upgrade, but... Hmm. Cool houses. Let's see if we can get more birch here. 400 meters until I can extract. Nope, I could not get that. It's hard to tell what is harvestable and what is not harvestable. Mm -hmm. I guess there is a charm to learning those things. How far can I aim? Oh, wow. Oh, no. That's... Oh god, you can get some good damage here. Wolf fangs, weapons, armor, jewelry, and leathers. Ooh, I do want a bigger backpack. Damn. Scraps. I guess I can actually do this. Wolf haunch, that is a lot. Ooh. Is it from my bomb or is it like hidden treasure? Hmm. Should have 
passive healing, I guess, but that would make priests obsolete. But priests only have X amount of spirit, unless you know what you're doing. What are you? Nothing? Okay, I hope somebody's not camping like the extraction point here. Oh? No space for item 2, 2. I would like to have an option to put down stuff. Let's see. What is it? Jade frog. A hundred thing in my thingies. Okay, I'm sorry, Birchwood, but I need those to gamba. Okay, so if you get. Right, it's an artifact, a treasure. Just about there. Extracting. Ooh. Cool, cool, cool. Now I have to survive here for that amount of period of time. Adventure complete, and I got everything, and I killed someone. <laughs> So 45 seconds on this map, and if you don't get away like I did, I think you get oofed. Now let's place everything in the stash, and where do I sell stuff? Quest. Turn in. Oh, I got glow grubs. Oh, that was the critters. Turn in and King's Mint. I don't know. Rare herb that grows in the castle ruins. Ah, I see. Okay, so let's get some more potions. And we got the iron bars, and we got the copper stuff, a ring of stamina. If this drops when I'm out and I can't get it back, that will make me a little ingy. <laughs> Perform an investment in contract the shard shop. See, bomb, bear traps, and the strike. Oh, I get talents. Using evade after jumping will cause you to vault backwards short distance. Using air vault on enemy target will cause you to vault backwards double the distance. Cool. Potential when hitting a player or creature in the head with charge shot, and a bow or charge heavy shot, no more you take critical damage. You can interact with the Hunter Shrine in green and receive increased in swiftness. Cool, but I mean headshots and air vault. Let's go air vault. I don't exactly know how to do it. Mm. Ow. City armor. Using disengage in swiftness. That's cool. Let's sell my frog and what else dedicated farms making the king green's healing cells oh I can't sell it then I can sell the ears let's sell that can craft copper bars and it doesn't cost anything thank you Thank God for that. Edwin Dancy has increased damage. Raw hide copper bars. Okay, so I need to get raw hides. And Falcon says, when Falcon Fury hits a target, 
No idea. Weapon crafter. Shatter point during eagle stands. You're fully shot. shot. This portion of the damage around the impact point. Eagle stands weapon skill. I don't know if it's like better or not. Dance greater this stamina mean, cost three elven dance. Cool. 129. Born longbow. Born elven bow. Born swift bow. Wind strike. Young short bow. This looks to be a fast weapon. Since it's a swift bow. Hmm. And this is the strongest. What do I have? Born Elven Bow. Bow Dance. Medium Bow. Okay. And this is a great common long bow. Great weapon. Hmm. So it's still a worn weapon I'm using. Longbow. Medium. Wind strike. So you get a stance with longbow, you get a dance with medium, and you get a wind strike with a swift bow. Wait, these cost 10. Okay, so. You can just buy them and try them out. Good. And then the higher tiers are require more stuff can I upgrade these no Brock's battle pack I guess this is the crafter rather than me iron ore hardwood elder bark longbow Focus sign, great increases swiftness and carefully aiming. Accelerate on speed, which you can charge your bow shot slightly increased. This is the mean cost of your Ellen dance, then it has bow dance. Birch hardwood and waxed rope. Medium. Headhunter, increased bonus and headshot damage. Cool. The tornadoes. Conjured by Tornado Barrage, slightly less longer terrain. Tornado Barrage. No idea. Swift Volley, Wild Volley locks onto target slightly fast. Okay, the crafted weapon seems very strong. <laughs> Chris, a ton of wind. Nope. Um, simple vial. What can he craft for me? Health potions. Simple vial and field lilies. Oh. Moderate amount. Poison. Requires. Oh. Vial. Let me get some vials. Oh. It wants me to do that. And let me get two. And get two antidotes. Mm -hmm. Tab me, what did she do? That was that. I should have not enough to do that. Lost backpack. This is like from players dying, I guess. 250. Many crafting. Mystery weapon, mystery helmet. Oh my god, I do want. Let's see, disengage, generate swiftness, max health. I do wanna buy something just to see if I can. If it like disappears when I die. So, what can I sell? Paper. It's for priests, I guess. And let's buy the basic 
here. Da, 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 da. How do I equip like that? Disengage. Hunter. And we're doing... I like the medium. The skill. But let's try a longbow. I should put gear in like slash 2 or something. And... Let's try both of these. And I also want the antidote. Reduces wound effects. Not sure what it means, but we'll try this. I don't have. Oh, I put the tools here. Yes. Oh, let's do that, that, and that. Maybe. That should be fine. I don't like to lose my stuff when I die, but we give it some leeway here. Playing this with multiplayer and like when they get to beta, this pro this game will probably be a lot better. It's gonna be impressive, I believe. Oh. I think if a warrior comes up to me, I'm just gonna get bonked. Is it still matchmaking? Yes, okay. Skills, eagle stance, enter focus aiming stance, greatly increase the damage dealt, making shots hit instantly. <gasps> nice. I don't have my disengage anymore though. So that could be a bit scary. Requires level 9, 6, 15, 3. Spore bomb, seed bomb. Poison cloud. Ooh. Poison was kind of hard to get away, so. It's not direct damage, but it should be very good in PvP. Root and snare should be a difference. Oh. Oh. Oh, I got matched with a party. Longbow is way too slow. I can't do anything else in this stance. Interesting. Oh, that was fast. Goblin Tooth. Where are we? We are over here. Should drop something. <gasps> Copper! with a rough stone, but keep it for now. High latency. I wonder where their servers are based. 
could be US at this latency. Oh, skeletons. Ah, uh, took a while. Swift bow. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's see. Hmm, it looks like I'm receiving swiftness as I'm just charging the bow. Oh god. I am gonna get left. Oh. Oh, he jumped over it. Oh my god. I can't get away. With my weapon, where did my buddy go? Huh? Okay, lag, do your thing. I gotta get to these people. Oh, I couldn't ping. I was defeated. Okay, I did not expect to run into people, and the longbow was completely useless unless you're playing PvE or like have a team. It's instant hit so it could be really good for long range but no that didn't really do anything. I think she had a swiftness. Okay so I lost my ring and I lost my pants and that means this game is not for me. If I'm gonna lose everything that I upgrade in the city or complete my quests and stuff. Oh, then again, I didn't lose my bow. But. Hmm. I didn't lose my bow. No, I did lose my bow. It just replenished with like the basic gear. Okay. Well, this game is not for me. It might be fun for people that enjoy this type of hardcore experiences but if my upgrades disappear I am not into it I'm not into it the PvE if they get like PvE experiences with dungeon delves where you actually play as a party and do stuff then I would be very into it PvE dungeon delves but if it's PvP and I lose all my upgrades and all that shit and my progress is gone then I'm not gonna play it but a PvE experience where my upgrades stick and I get stronger and stronger then I'll be into it yeah I guess you can still get like your masteries and stuff but it's not enough it's not even close to enough so yeah that's it for this game I hope they come out with a dungeon delving PvE mode, but I don't have my hopes up for it, that they are actually coming out with the mode, that is. Game itself, I mean, when they polish it from alpha into beta will probably be a lot better than what I just experienced, and also the servers are probably in uh, North America, so that's why I have like a hundred ping, which makes it a bit harder. I do enjoy the going out on map, getting stuff and then extracting. I do enjoy that aspect, but the loss, the loss of everything is too hardcore. If you have a backpack upgrade, you will probably lose your backpack as well. You lose your, I don't know, your hidden bag, you lose everything. That's too much, way, way too much. Okay, that's it for me. 
I hope you enjoyed this look. I look forward to a beta, more playtests, more balance. And uh, yeah, a PvE mode for dungeon delving. That's what I enjoy. But maybe the game just isn't for me. It, if you enjoy these sort of things, like Darkest Dungeon or what it's called, Darker and Darker, mm -hmm, then by all means, take a look at the game.